Welcome back. Well, your MP3 is all ready to be put out into the world for everybody to hear. Where can we accomplish this? Well, take a look. Lipson welcomes you. And this is basically a distribution platform that creates an RSS feed. The RSS feed is what places like Spotify, iTunes, anywhere that hosts a podcast, they basically turn that RSS feed into something downloadable into your device, or it just creates a simple MP3 link that anybody can download from on a website as well. And it's a very straightforward process that Lipson makes it very user-friendly. All you have to do is put in your log information, which um, I'm sure your mentor will provide for you once they have set up their account. And you click on login. And up comes this screen. Now, these are my podcasts. This is Director's Club. It'll show you all the stats. And I don't normally use the quick publish feature because I want to, I'm used to a certain process that I'm about to show you anyway. But as you can see, this is your main dashboard. This is your content, your destinations, which necessarily you don't have to go into too great of detail over, but we will. Uh, monetizing is basically making money off your podcast, which I haven't explored in the least regard, but the stats are very helpful to see how popular your podcast is. Storage, pretty self-explanatory. It lets you know where you're at in terms of uh, usage. And your settings, and your show settings are all ready implemented, uh, which is basically just how the show gets out there. And of course, there's a help desk, which is very prompt, and I've had great experience whenever I've had an issue with them. But we basically want to start off by going to content and click on add new episode. And here's the new content screen. For media, we basically want to click on add media file. We want to upload from our hard drive because that is where our MP3 podcast is at. Great. So now we want to find our episode, which is episode one leveled. We click on this, and as you can see, it's uploading into Libsyn. While we're waiting, we want to go over to details here and type in episode one and the name of the episode or the guest that you have on. Subtitle, I wouldn't say, is necessary. Um, some people do just come up with a episode title and then type featuring guest. They can do that there. And for a description, it's basically your show notes. And show notes are, you know, your, your, your summation. Basically what the episode is all about. Maybe any pertinent links, like where they can find more information about your guest or take a look at the research that they've done. You can add any number of links here, as well as just basic text. Simply, you can put, this is an episode all about podcasting featuring, and then you can, of course, add a link to where people can find their guest or the guest of this episode. So all of this is pretty self-explanatory. Um, category, I don't know if you'll need. Apple podcast optimization, that's, that's another option that I don't necessarily explore any further because it all goes out in as an RSS feed. And let's go over to artwork. We don't necessarily need to add artwork because that is already established in the initial show settings. Scheduling gives us the option to release it immediately into the world. Or if we choose, we can go to set new release date. And I like to release it at midnight on 
Monday or depending on whenever you have your episode ready to go. So I can choose a date other than today or immediately, which is great. Advanced, all of these extra things I don't necessarily use or think are necessary. So once you got your details filled out and your media is successfully uploaded, we want to click on publish. After we've clicked publish, which I didn't actually do because otherwise that would have put uh, that particular episode out into my podcast feed, I normally go to previously published, which shows the latest episode that has been published. And as you can see, I have my episodes here. But I wanted to give you an example of show notes by clicking on this little I here, which is details. And this shows you the title, the subtitle, category, uh, whether or not anyone swore, which in my case on my podcast that's happened. Um, and here are show notes, just basically a summation of the entire podcast, along with some pertinent links that were mentioned within the episode, or just links to the guest. And so all of that is very helpful. If you want to link... This is the direct download, the direct MP3 link to your episode. So in the case of the one we just uploaded, it would say episode 1.mp3, of course. But here are these options if you want to enclose it on a website. Here's some HTML, or this is just the direct download URL, which you will probably use when you publish it on a website. And they allow you for some further options that, again, I don't necessarily utilize. But those are the basic steps to using Libsyn and publishing your podcast. I hope that was very helpful for you, and let's stay tuned for more to come. Thank you.